All righty. Right. Well, let's let's move on to talking about FPV, more directly FPV related stuff. Uh, and we will talk about Edge TX. Edge TX 2.5 is released. Um, Blunty, do we want to just do a short recap on what is Edge TX for the people who may not be sort of keeping up? Sure. Um, so Edge TX is essentially, um, well, so OpenTX is hanging out and it has kind of not really stagnated, but it's not been pushing forward major versions for a while. They've been doing minor version changes, and sometimes it takes quite a long time between those minor version changes. And there were some complaints from developers about um, trying to get some PRs accepted and some stuff moving forward. So um, a couple of people took it a uh, part of themselves to move and create Edge TX, which under the blessings of the OpenTX developers, um, created a version of basically OpenTX 2.4, which we waited for for a while, which supported a lot of the things that we were looking for, like touchscreen radios or um, you know things like that. Um, different radios that weren't supported, and then some extra features that we didn't see, like one bit mode we got added, which is like a software ability to fix the FreeSky hardware issues with inverters. Um, yeah, so now we're getting OpenTX or EdgeTX 2.5, which is the next version. Yeah, so let's take a look at what's in EdgeTX 2.5, codenamed Dauntless. Ooh, fancy. Um, uh, public service announcement about backing up your models and radio settings, and also a few other things before you upgrade. Always, you shouldn't need a backup, but if you do need it, you'll be glad you've got it. Uh, preliminary support for the Fly, Fly Sky uh, Nirvana. That's exciting. Yes. That thing hasn't had a firmware update in a long freaking time. Anybody who still has that radio? Hmm. Very glad yes. to hear that, I'm sure. Yeah, it's a little weird form factor, so I think it's taken a little while, but they're finally getting it taken care of. So, mm -hmm. Also, this uh, release, I believe, is the first one that's coming finally with installation packages for Companion. So now, mm -hmm. right here in the releases, you'll be able to download the HTX Companion right along with HTX, um, and then everything should be all compatible and uh, easy to set up. Yeah, and then just some sort of bug fixes and smaller uh, smaller feature improvements. Widgets yeah, now have just, touchscreen support. Yeah, lots of collected changes that people have been working on for a while. Um, all pushed together into this release. One thing to note, um, lots of extra support, lots of changes and stuff, um, but there is uh, going to be a lack of support, unfortunately. Um, so Radio King, some of you guys might be familiar with the Radio King uh, TX18S. That was a radio that came out for a little while. Unfortunately, uh, Radio King has not released their source code. Um, they're kind of in GPL violation, and nobody's really heard from Radio King. They're not responding to anybody. So unfortunately, because of the ability to support it, uh, they are dumping the Radio King TX18S. Yeah. And the Radio King, I mean, it was, some people suspected that Radio King was actually Jumper because Jumper got, was, got, got some flack when they first came out. FreeSky was mad at Jumper right. and then Banggood didn't carry Jumper because Banggood, FreeSky is such a big uh, player that I guess they didn't want to piss them off. And then Radio King came out, and I speculated, and I have no basis for this. It is pure speculation. It's irresponsible of me to even say it, probably. But I speculated that it was actually Jumper trying to get around that ban. Oh, it's Radio King, see? Uh, but now apparently Radio King, I mean, it was just a Jumper radio, right? It was pretty much just a Jumper radio. Now Radio King is missing in action, huh? Yeah, that's unfortunate. But uh, yeah, that is the case. So um, if you wanted to follow uh, what's going to happen with Edge TX moving forward, though, uh, they have released a roadmap. Um, we've linked that in the show notes here. Um, but yeah, we've got a roadmap coming up so you can see where the development is moving to. So like what the plan is when they're going to come out. Mm -hmm. They're aiming for quarter, quarterly releases now. So next story should be around Christmas for mm -hmm. the winter solstice release. Nice. Um I'm kind of surprised if that Radio King doesn't just use like the Jumper T16 target or the Radio Master TX16S target. Why would it have its own custom firmware and custom target if it's just a clone of those radios? That's pretty weird. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know either. Why did they single out Jumper and not Radio Master Terminal Insanity? Because Radio Master didn't exist then. Jumper was first. Jumper came out with the Jumper T8, I think, right? Or T16? Was the T8? T16, I think. The T16. Was, yeah. Um, I'm not sure the and then the T18, right yeah, yeah. The Jumper T16 was the first uh, of this batch of radios like the Jumper T18, the Radio Master TX16S, uh, that all came from Jumper originally. Even the Radio Master was, there's some politics there about the relationship between them and Jumper that we won't get into. Um, yeah. So they were first, and they used the QX7 
as the basis. They use the QX7 target as the basis of the T16. And FreeSky said, hey, you're, you're cloning our, you're stealing our IP. And they were like, whatever, it's an open source. We can build hardware that runs this target. It's open source. I, I personally have to ag agree with them on that one. Uh, but FreeSky made a big stink. And uh, some stores, they basically, uh, some stores chose not to carry Jumper because they were concerned about what FreeSky might do if they carry Jumper. Let's just put it that way. And then they stopped carrying, right? Terminal and Sandy. I guess they stopped carrying by the time the, the TX16S came out because the TX16S is no different from the QX7 than the Jumper T16 is. They're, they're, none of them are identical, uh, you know, chip for chip copies. They're just hard, they're just compatible with the firmware. Anyway, that's all politics from the past. Um, all right, HTX 2.5, link in the video description.